teacher conferences. We've got all three of us adults here. We've got Mimi here. She was a teacher, if you don't know. And so I always love when, when she comes we, to school with me because she when gives I was lots of good my insight. Popsicle, yeah. When I was eating my popsicle, I I accidentally bit on my on my uh -huh. wiggly tooth right here. Yeah. And now it's actually more wiggly. Oh, <gasps> that's so exciting. And it's actually kind of in more. See this one's also Yeah, I see it. It was like big. bleeding a little bit, huh? Okay. Yeah. And that's why that's why it's that's why I have baby teeth. That's and right. That, yeah. This one is as big because it's a grown up too. Yeah. Yeah. It's turning into a grown up. <laughs> so we also have some overlapping time. So we're going to have to figure out, we're going to have to divide and conquer for some of this. So the more adults, the better. I think in order, we've got Kyson, Addy, Caden, and Landon with a few little overlapping times. So they, with, I don't know if this is just a Montessori thing, but they, they highly encourage the kids to come. In fact, I don't know if this one is, but a lot of a lot of the times these conferences are child led. They write how they feel that they're doing and how they feel about subjects. So it's very like child, yeah, child led, centered, child centered, child centered, yeah. child centered, very child centered with how they feel, and then the teacher like gives their input as well. So I really, really like these conferences. They have them several times a year, and we're gonna go see how you're doing. How are you feeling in school? How do you feel about school, Addy? Good. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel? Okay. okay. Kaisen is um, always Mommy. the hardest on himself. He tends to judge how he does more I can't think of the word my words are not working today it's so interesting though having like a child-led conference because they're very honest like I feel like I mean at least my kids are I feel like they judge themselves very fairly and if not like more difficult than the teacher would judge them like there was what for one example there was Kaden he had a project that he did and she asked how do you feel you did on this and he gave himself like a 8 out of 10 and he actually scored like a hundred percent on it so anyway let's go are you ready how's the wind it's not too windy no, it is. <laughs> we are home from the parent-teacher conferences. They went so well. I am just so proud of my kids. Like every single one of their teachers, like each and every one of them, like just had so many good things to say. Like Kyson, for example, he has grown 230% in reading from his first trimester to now. 230%, that's insane. Addie is doing exceptional in her class. She's talking about how she knows sight words. She knows her uppercase and lowercase letters. Like the main feedback that she had for her is that she needs to challenge herself even more. To push her even further. She has already excelled in all the things that she knows. Landon also had a really big jump in his reading score. He loves reading. He is also, his teacher says that he is extremely on task at all times, which if you know my concerns for him in the past, like I just am trying to keep an eye on his ability to like concentrate on some things. There's just been things that have come up in the past with regular schooling. I was wondering if there was some sort of like attention deficit thing going on. So if there is, which you know, it's a spectrum, it's not affecting his schoolwork. Like she said, he's incredible and he can stay on task um, anytime he needs to. Caden's teacher is just like the sweetest soul on this planet. They're all, they all are actually really good teachers, but she just raves about like how kind and humble Caden is and how he finishes all his jobs every single day. Like they just, there's so many good things, so many nice things. So. I love going to those conferences.